Hey, welcome this morning to the book of Malachi. We are at Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7 for this morning. Let's listen to verse 7. For the lips of a priest should keep knowledge and people should seek the law from his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Some people want to take this maybe and say, well, that's just the preacher's job. That's just the, maybe that's just the elder in our church. It's his job. Listen again. For the lips of a priest should keep knowledge, and people should seek the law from his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. And again, we as Protestants, we're not Catholic, we're Protestant, we understand what? That God has given every person a priesthood. There is a priesthood, so to speak, of all believers. And so if you're a believer, you're in the priesthood. Very simple, simple math here, not not hard. If you think about it that way then, for the lips of every believer should keep knowledge, and people should seek the law from his mouth. He, the believer, is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. Friend, that's not just me. It's not just a professional minister or or a street preacher even or an elder or, you know, every believer, every believer, our lips should speak knowledge. Every believer, the people, the people, the unbelievers, the people who don't know Jesus, haven't made their commitments to God, they should seek God's truth, God's revelation, his law. They should seek it from our mouth. That one right there, yours right there. They should seek it. Why? Because it says he is a messenger of the Lord of hosts. You and I are messengers of the Lord of hosts. And remember, the book of Malachi, literally in Hebrew, it says, Malachi, my messenger, So in a sense, we're all messengers like Malachi. We're all to give the God's law to the world. We are all to keep knowledge. We are all to deliver knowledge. This is the great privilege that God has in store for his people all through time, but certainly even more today at the very end of time. Where where are we situated in in the prophetic timeline? I'm pretty sure we're very, very, very close down by the end somewhere. So this is our task. This, we're trying to apply it directly. You know, of course, the Levites were supposed to do it in in Malachi's time, and we're going to see tomorrow morning how well they did with this. It's not going to be a good score. But we're thinking about applying it directly to our experience. So the lips of a priest should keep knowledge. We should know something. And where are we going? How are we going to know something? We'll look at the Bible, know something about what God's purpose is, what his plan for, for humanity is. We should keep knowledge. People should expect that we will have that knowledge for them. We need to be able to give an answer for the belief, the hope that we have that's in us, but not just an answer when we're asked. We need to be actually finding opportunities to deliver it because today a lot of people they're they've got things stuffed into their ears and they're listening to a bunch of nonsense things that you know you thought was art and you find out later that I was listening and growing up feasting on garbage that's what it was we need to be able to help people come we need to be the messenger of the lord of hosts and what a privilege what a remarkable special privilege that is Would you join me in prayer? Dear Father in heaven, we don't like responsibility. We kind of like to stand aside and let other people do it. After all, other people, there's always somebody who's better. There's always somebody who's stronger. There's always somebody who's clearer in their communication. So what? Oh, Lord, we look to you. Be our helper. Be our guide. Help us to be simple preachers, each one of us, just simply telling the truth as you give it to us to tell and share with others what you, the mighty God of heaven, have done for us. Help us, Lord, to be faithful. Be our leader. Help us to be your priests. May people hear the law at our lips, Lord, for their good. We thank you for hearing our request, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So may God do this for us, and may we not shirk our duty in a time of apostasy and trouble and chaos and mayhem and people don't even know that there is a truth. May we at least, at least we Christians, may we as Christians lead people from the standpoint that there is truth, there is a judgment, there is eternity, and we want to be right with each other and with the God of heaven and earth. God be with you today.